Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Su. And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about why you shouldn't copy someone else's marketing. So this is something that hits home. I, I think, you know, it's, it's Neil and I, we both study a lot of different people around the marketing space. Um, and just to give you an example, a couple years ago when I first started to learn how to do webinars, a friend sent me the Russell Brunson perfect webinar formula. And, you know, it's a great, great video, right? I still have it. It's still in my Dropbox. Um, I still, you know, I've watched it a couple of times actually uh, because it's that good. But just keep in mind, I mean, you know, sometimes someone will give you a, a script. You need to figure out how you can take that template and make it your own. You shouldn't think about following it 100%, right? Because, you know, sometimes things that work well for somebody else, like, you know, let's say they're, you know, they're, they have a more salesy voice or they're just good at kind of persuading people. Um, not that not that, that can't be taught. Sometimes your personality is just different, right? So for example, the way I sell is a lot more consultative. I give a lot more value up front and then that way, you know, eventually people just buy from me. Um, it's not to say, you know, I'm you know, the one technique that I did try, which is stacking a bunch of, um, you know, stacking a bunch of features that actually didn't work out well for me. I found that my conversion rate went up when I was just myself more, but that's not to say I didn't take, you know, a certain percentage of tactics from uh, Russell Brunson's perfect warm, uh, perfect webinar and, you know, make it into my own. So think about that. Yeah. The, the point Eric's trying to make is when other people are using specific marketing tactics, such as webinars, SEO, pay-per-click, whatever it may be, you should learn from them. You should look at what they're doing. And of course, you should consider replicating some of their strategies, but you shouldn't blatantly copy it. One, they may get upset, but two, the more important reason is just because you copy someone and I've paid people and they've helped me copy them. What ends up happening is it doesn't necessarily work. Your visitor base, even though you could be in the same you know, competitive market as someone else, like the same sector, it doesn't mean what works for them will work for you. So you have to figure out what works for you and your audience, and you need to slowly adapt things to be your own. Uh, the other thing that I quickly learned too, and this was from a gentleman named Jermaine Griggs, who does really well with webinars, he was telling me, he's like, well, you know, people like Frank Kern and him and maybe Russell Brunson, they do things a certain way because it works for them. But he's just like, if you're going to be doing things that goes away from your personality and doesn't seem natural, it just won't convert as well. And I learned something at that moment in which it's not necessarily that his tactics are wrong or mine are better or mine are worse. It's more so you have to figure out what works with you, your personality, your company culture. And once you find what works for you, it will tend to work better for your visitors or your customers as well because it'll be more natural. Great. I don't have really, there's not much more to add around this. I mean, think about this from a marketing perspective, even from sales, right? If any of you have done sales in the past, when you're given a sales script, eventually you made it into your own, right? Or same thing when you train other people on your team, when you give them kind of a call script, whether it's, you know, the, to help clients or to close a deal, um, eventually, you know, they might copy you in the beginning, but they'll know some parts aren't natural to them and they'll make it into their own, right? So you have to give them the freedom for that. Same thing goes for marketing as well. So definitely learn from everywhere that you can, but eventually you have to add and basically create your own style. Just like the same thing with writing, right? You have to have your own voice. So that's it for today. But before we go, we have a one year annual subscription of Crazy Egg, which is a heat mapping analytics tool that is from Neil Patel and his partner, Heaton Shaw. And so what we're doing here is we're giving away one of these every single week for the next year. And you can actually get multiple entries. So just go to singlegrain.com slash giveaway. Once again, singlegrain.com slash giveaway to learn more. And we will see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.